Hi everybody, I have something very important that I want to visit with you about. You know, there are a lot of Lyme symptoms going around right now, and I just want to talk to you about this very fact that you were healed by the stripes of Jesus, 1 Peter 2, 24. The Bible says that Je the same day Jesus bore our sicknesses, he, he bore our sin. So we were healed 2,000 years ago. Now you have a choice. You can receive that healing and believe for the manifestation in your body, or you can receive all that the world has. You can receive those lion symptoms, talk about those lion symptoms, and continue to, to experience uh, a manifestation of sickness in your body. Now I'm gonna pray for you right now, and I'm gonna believe that as I pray, you will receive the healing power of God flowing through your body and you have to receive it. I can't receive it for you. You have to receive it. So I want you to receive the power of God that is available to you to receive what the Word of God says, that by the stripes of Jesus, you're healed. So Father, in the name of Jesus, I speak to these bodies by the power and authority of the name of Jesus and the blood of the Lamb. And I say that these bodies have to line up and be perfect the way you created them to be. I declare that they're healed and whole from the top of their heads to the soles of their feet. I declare that muscle um, aches are gone. I declare that fever is gone. I declare that, that the sense of taste and smell is gone back in Jesus name. I declare that lungs are open and free in Jesus name. Nasal and silent sinus passages are open in Jesus name. And any other lying symptoms, I declare by the authority of the name of Jesus that they have to go and leave their body now. I declare that the healing power of God is flowing through their body right now from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Now you receive it today. You receive it. You receive it into your body. You take it by faith and you continue to confess, I'm healed by the stripes of Jesus. And you speak to your body. If the lion symptoms come back, you say you go in the name of Jesus. You have that authority. You have that power to do that. And I expect you to do it. Now there are some things that you might uh, need to do along with this. Some spiritual um, items that I want you to do a checkup from the neck up, okay? Now, one of the things I want you to understand is that what is your heart? Check your heart. If you've got bitterness, if you've got unforgiveness, if you've got uh, just all kinds of ugliness in your heart, strife in your family, listen, you need to get rid of that. You need to get rid of that. You need to Get before the Father, 1 John 1, 9, and confess your sin and get that out. And get your heart pure before God. Another thing you need to do is you need to make sure that you're walking in love. Walking in love with everybody. This is so important for Jesus said it. He told us to walk in love. Another thing that is important for you to do is to always confess the word. You've got to confess what God says about you. There are lots of healing scriptures in the Word of God, you continue to confess and say out of your mouth, not I'm sick, I'm sick, I'm sick, but I'm healed by the stripes of Jesus. Remember, death and life is in the power of the tongue. So you listen to the healing CD, and you also listen to healing messages. This will help develop your faith and to continue to walk in divine life, which is what Jesus provided for you. And then I would encourage you to take communion. Take communion every day. Just, just appropriate the power of that cracker, the, the broken body of Jesus, and the blood of Jesus into your body. Remember, Jesus said, you do this in remembrance of me. What does that mean? You do it in remembrance of what he did for you, that he did it all. He paid the price for your sin and your sickness 2,000 years ago. So you can walk in peace, you can walk in joy, you can walk in all the benefits that God has for you to live the abundant overcoming life. There are certain things that you need to do that are natural things that you need to do, that you know to do, but you're not doing them. You need to exercise. You need to get good rest. You need to drink plenty of water. You can take vitamin C, vitamin D, and zinc. This will help with your immune system. You can uh, get out in the sun because the sun is that vitamin D that you need. You can also eat 
red meat. That helps your immune system also to fight this whatever's going around. Do you understand? It's important that you get plenty of rest also. These are some spiritual things and some natural things you can do to maintain your healing because I stand in faith believing that as soon as I prayed, you received your healing. So I declare that you are healed and whole from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. I love you so much and I call you blessed.